survival plan this has helped a lot so our borders opened up um, measures were taken in to cover the certain protocols for COVID so that airlines um, countries and all the stake stakeholders involved um, have a, a basically a smooth passage of, of tourism and John de Almeida operates a hot air ballooning activity at Solitaire. He has been in this business for about a decade and the outbreak of COVID-19 had a devastating effect on his business. De Almeida had to reduce his prices, which he says boosted local tourism, which has kept his ballooning business afloat during the pandemic. Before it was almost a daily thing um, and slowly even Namibia was going out of this, this the seasonal tourism which was actually becoming more of a all around the all around the year um tourist destination and since covid happened yeah the numbers at one point stopped totally pascual scaturo is the owner of solitaire settlement a popular settlement in the thomas region solitaire borders the namib no kluft national park sossesfle and is a gateway to wolfish bay when covid hit in march Almost overnight, the business went to zero when the borders were closed and everybody left. And the biggest problem we had really was our employees. The toughest decision, he says, was that of letting go of about 75% of his workforce at the settlement. And it's been difficult. You know, we've tried our hardest to go ahead and keep as many employees as we can. We, uh, we continue to open. Most of the lodges have shut down. Um, it shut down over the uh, the course of last year. I think every lodge shut down, actually. With us, we could stay open because we did still serve petrol. We served the local community. So it was difficult, but we've been able to get through it. Like the Almeida, Scaturo too applauds the Tourism Revival Initiative. Uh, the biggest revival, I think, that the government has finally acknowledged and is coming in is they, they increased the, uh, the testing period for tourists to come in from the three to seven days. That was a, a, a great, um, that was a great uh, decision on the part, part of the government. As can be seen, the numbers of tourists to this area are maybe not what they were before COVID-19, but it is slowly getting back to normal. Emil Sebeb, NBC News, Solitaire.